Okay guys, it's me Emath. So in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to interface or how to simulate a servo motor with that of ESP32 microcontroller. So how we can do that? First of all, we need to go to Google and here we will search for an online simulator that is called as the VOKV. You can pronounce it as VOKV or VOKV, okay? And this is here. Okay, now you can see a lot of built-in examples. Okay, and you can see that there is there are Arduino Uno, Mega, Nano, Raspberry Pi, Pico, and ESP32. Okay, now we need to click on ESP32. Now this is our uh, major working window on right hand side and coding on the left hand side. So now this is our ESP32 and now we will go uh, and click this plus sign to get our servo motor. We will scroll down and here we got our servo motor. Now you can see that there are three pins mentioned on the servo motors. One is called as the ground pin which is obviously uh, must be connected with the ground of ESP32. This is a convention and uh, V positive or VCC to the 3.3 volt of ESP32. And uh, we can change the color of uh, VCC, okay, VCC line or trace to red. And there is third pin which is actually controlling signal pin or PW and PW M pin, okay, there is pulse width modulated pin. It's used to take pulse width modulated signal and then uh, will rotate as according to the uh, as according to that signal. Okay, now this is D4. Okay, this is a green one. We can change it to orange one. Okay, now this is our hardware side. Now we need to come to our coding window and here we can we need to click on library manager. Okay. And we need to click on this say the new library sign and here we will write ESP32 servo okay so this is our servo library and we have added it out okay so oh sorry again we need to write ESP32 servo okay now we have added our library now on the top side or on the top of the program we need to write hash include ESP32 servo dot H or all the things must be in capital ESP32 servo dot H okay now this is our library so we will run it out and we will see that either this library is working fine or not okay so they said this library no such file or directory okay so we will write this S word as capital now again we need to write we need to run because it is uh, what is called as the non paid version so it can take a little bit of more time to be uh, simulated okay now it is our this our library and it is okay loaded properly okay so that is why it is not giving us any sort of error after this is done we will create a servo object okay servo and we will just write serr just s now what is this actually s is called as the object of servo main class and why we are going to create because this object has the ability to like fetch certain functions from this servo main class okay so we, we can uh, find with the help of dot operator we can fetch certain functions from this servo class so this is servo s okay and after this servo we will uh, we have to declare one variable in p is equal to zero and we have declared it as globally as it is above the wide setup and wide loop okay so we can say it is a global variable and it is of integer data type now p is contain uh, p is having zero or p is having zero stored inside it so now this is wide setup now we need to write 
s dot s dot at age okay s dot at age okay now we will write zero now what is what is meant at age is a function which belongs to this uh, servo main class and s is an object of their class so s dot at age s is actually calling this function and inside the parameter bracket uh, we have written this 4 and what is meant by this 4 because 4 d4 uh, okay is represented by pin number 4 here okay we cannot write d4 instead of d4 you must have to write 4 so it is declared that servo motor is connected with the pin number 4 now we will go to our wired loop okay and here wired loop and wired setup just executes for one time while wired loop execute again and again okay just like uh, in a finite for or while one okay so here we will write for for like we can we can write okay so 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 here we can declare any other variable like g for n g is equal to zero g is equal to zero g is less than oh sorry we can write for p is equal to zero p is less than okay 100 and p plus plus okay because we have already declared this one so we are not supposed to again declare it okay in the for loop now wh what will happen for loop obviously okay runs for like 100 times because uh, it starts from 0 and ends at 100 okay that is less than 100 means that it ends at 99 so it will uh, for loop will execute all these statements within its body for 90 uh, for 100 times okay so here we write s dot write s dot write p now what is this now every time every time our object is s that is servo object is s and every times p first p will become zero okay and this condition will check that either zero is less than 100 and obviously it is right so control will move to this that is s dot write p after this has been done okay now this is s dot write p and obviously if after this zero it will becomes one okay and one is less than obviously less than 100 so it will execute so one by one p value will get decremented due to this p plus plus incrementer okay so our servo will go from 0 to 100 okay and then there is delay of 10 we can increase it to 20 okay now we will run it out okay now you can see that our servo motor it is s start right p uh it is okay i think that it it is it is very fast okay so better is to uh not 200 i think that there must be like 100 delay of 100 second okay oh wait wait delay must be inside this for loop so 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 you can decrease it to 50 millisecond as well if you want so now you will see it will work properly Our servo motor is used to rotate from 0 to 200 and if you want to increase the angle okay we can go and here we will write 180 we will stop it out again we will simulate it out and here you will get your thing done okay now as it we, we are using the uh, okay so now you can see that our motor will rotate from 0 degree to 180 degree so so now so so hopefully you got the concept that how you can write 
uh, a signal from ESP32 to servo motor. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.